Hello, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. In the last episode, Doug died. Poor old Doug. We did reincarnate Doug as a Vestal, which in this case I think is something that I am quite within my rights to do. Indeed, this is my playthrough, you can't stop me from resurrecting people whenever I feel it is necessary to do so. But uh, do recall that I said we're going to start dismissing people as they become stressed out or useless. But not named people, not people that we've given a name to. And the reason I chose to reincarnate Doug here was A, he was very valiant in the attempt to stop the brigands in the previous episode and of course died on the way home running away like a coward. Um, but also a Vestal. A Vestal is very useful and something we're going to want to keep hold of so I suspect we will not be dismissing a level 2 Vestal irrespective of how badly this particular character turns out to be. Look, they've already got level 3 armor, which, uh, armor and shield which is actually you know, as good or better than some of our level 3 characters, so pulling in someone at this level, especially a Vestal, and having them so well upgraded to start with is probably someone we're going to want to keep around, because they've already basically got a lot of investment in them already, so that's a, a great head start. I'm not going to take these units out. No, maybe I will actually. No, because uh, a Vestal won't go with uh, an Abomination, although we could take this particular Joker out with the Abomination, see how badly off they become and maybe dismiss them. We'd also possibly like to take out some of these um, diseased people and use Erasmus here with the camping skill to get rid of those diseases if we can manage it without their, you know, getting more diseases as a result. <coughs> oh, excuse me. In fact, that's not a bad idea. If we were to take this Erasmus maybe Imidism and uh, Paeus down here. Let's see what, what our options are. You lot go away. You were very good in the last episode, but we're not this episode today. Um, we are looking really for a medium level 3 mission, just like this one. Uh, maybe not the boss. This is a level 3 mission. Activate three infected corpses. Now, I believe that means we're going to be taking stuff with us and losing it as we go along, so we'll be able to get plenty of money. If we do something like this, uh, this can go here, you go here, you go here, in fact you can start here because we'll give Erasmus, Erasmus, <coughs> pardon me, we'll give Erasmus that trinket that causes him to go first and therefore get into the front position. Now Viz, how are you in the second position? Fine. And then Erasmus, we get the uh, the camping as a result of being a medium mission. Imzum will be at the back, as is correct, because lots of these are basically uh, rear unit attacks. Although, that being said, a Houndmaster does not actually need to be at the back, but we have a trinket that will benefit them for being at the back. What are our things? Less damage is kind of bad, but we'll try and get rid of that one first. And don't forget, Erasmus will remove their own disease as well as the target disease. And then Viz has the Fits, which is just Fits, basically. Faster, but less accurate. Uh, and, of course, our new unit here can take as much stress damage as they like because we're not going to be keeping them around because we're going to be scumming up the game ever so slightly just to try and press ahead. I think this is a good way uh, of doing it right now. We don't have any money to spend on upgrading anybody, really. So I think we just go straight ahead and see how much we can get out of this. And of course, we do get uh, a reward for doing it as well, but I'm not too bothered by that right now. Uh, mostly I'm in it for the cash, which means we should be taking Sergiris, but obviously Sergiris is in for stress relief. So, more damage, more speed, less HP. Could be doable. Just check the positioning of this, by the way. Weird reconstruction can only be done from this position and this position, which means it might be worth... Because Erasmus needs to start in this position, but he will move straight away. So I think this is okay, as long as we ensure that Erasmus goes first, which I think is quite easy to do with that trinket. We'll make sure everyone's trinkets are back. I don't know whether we got back the trinket that Doug died with. It looks like we have two of each of these, but maybe I didn't take those? I kind of forget. More damage, more virtue chance. I mean, possibly a good idea. Might as well take them. The uh, thing about uh, an abomination here is they will stress themselves out as well as everybody else. Uh, so, having this particular occultist become stressed out as a result of going with our abomination is not that big of a deal. I think I'm going to use the old-fashioned, um, you know, extra H extra heal skills 
and less chance of bleeding everybody that we used to use and haven't actually used for quite a while because we've been really he laying on heavily the Vestal healing um, recently. So it's good to have an opportunity to try and get a completely outrageous heal from an occultist every now and then. More dodge, more accuracy ranged. I think this is a melee skill. Lunge is melee. Melee. We're mostly melee, sometimes we may use range, so that's not really going to benefit us because we're not really aiming for uh, ranged skills on this one. More speed could be good. More stun. We're probably going to be using Shadow Fade a lot, so that's at least worthwhile. And of course we want to use this Quick Draw Charm before I forget. Good thinking. And as for the Houndmaster, we won't make the mistake that we made last time, which was to take the stun skill chance without realising that the stun skill itself was a front position, not a back position, but that's okay. Um, I don't think it would have made that much of a difference to the last episode, so I'm not that bothered. Um, torch below 51, again, we should really think about doing these low-level runs, especially if we're going to start letting people, like, not resurrecting people and letting them die, letting us fail. Um, we should do a dark run to get way more stuff. We want uh, maybe the accuracy ring that gives us good stuff for being at the back. Is that a rare one? I, uh, yes. Position 4. Maybe more heals received. What's your malfunction? Less damage. So it's not really going to be countered by having more heals, I think. More prot, more dodge, more stress. I think we like that, actually. That will uh, at least somewhat make up for the fact that the fights may take a little bit longer with people doing less damage. So that's good. Uh, I'm happy with that. It's going to be a medium mission. These will go away as we find the things, but we must remember not to miss any quest um, quest locations that are on the the corridors, because I've done that before. Take a couple of these, because it's a medium mission, we never know. It's, I don't think it's the wield, so maybe we should take some of these and less of... fewer of these? That seems like a good idea. Torches are important, I believe. I understand this game to some extent, that's for sure. Hopefully we'll find some more. I'm spending quite a lot of money here. Uh, and... I think that should do us. Maybe a bandage just to be able to open something. That seems right. We've got all our trinkets. We've got our... Yeah, I mean, it's a level 3 mission and we've been doing such high level missions recently that I'm feeling a little bit complacent about this, so we'll see how much that hubris comes around to bite us in the arse uh, in the next 20 minutes or so. The paths are littered with poisonous traps. It tells me after I've already started off on my way. You couldn't have told me that before I left. Wow, okay, this is a problem. Curio trap. I assume it would tell me if it's a quest item. Yes, quest location up there. So we know that this is not a quest location, so that's super handy, but we do also know that there is a uh, an attack coming up. I'm going to use a shovel here because I have no respect for my own future. Waiting to be spent. Now, I've trap. Knew about the trap. Dodged it, but forgot to do anything about it. Good start. Here we go. Oh, for five minutes. So we may just run away from this fight completely. Let's see if we can kill one of these straight away, and then they maybe won't merge into one. Ah, Erasmus. You're my favourite. Right, now we're in a good position for everyone to do their best. Let's try and stun this. I've really forgotten how to use... Maybe I didn't know in the first place, which is also quite likely. Um, how to use the abomination effectively. Uh, because it's very much a balancing act between the low DPS that you get from being in human form and the high stress that you get from being in beast form. So we'll see in this fight whether we go well. Oh, hello. That's interesting. I guess we start with transform. Uh, kind of didn't expect Viz to be going first. What's your uh, speed stat then? 17. Good grief. 3 trinket, 3 disease, 3 quirk. Ah, interesting. Now luckily, Viz being in this position is not a bad thing at all. Indeed, he can do anything from the front two positions in this mode. And of course, Erasmus is now 19, so that's quite likely that they'll swap around occasionally. This is fine. But what do we do first? Knockback it moves us forward, which could be useful in some situations, but I think I'm just going to start spreading out some damage. This debuffs them too. It doesn't. That's the other one. Don't mind. Can we kill one of these? Not likely. Quite likely. Not likely. 
does get to go, but a dodge is fine too. I don't mind stressing this party out to some extent. We're going to get rid of one of them anyway, although I'm going to feel bad about it because it looks like they're going to do really well. Uh, less damage. Less dodge. These have got some dodge. We don't have the less prot. I think that's on the Houndmaster. We might as well do it to this one. If we can debuff it, then we can almost guarantee that we hit it in the future. I think I'm going to feel bad about dismissing this unit, even though I haven't named them. Simply because having a, a, a cultist with these skills straight off the bat is really useful, not having to pay to unlock them. And of course with their armor level as well. Quite handy indeed. But we're going to get more in future with the... Oh, really? Oh, you're bleeding. That's fine. In fact, everyone's bleeding. That's fine by me. Uh, with the stagecoach leveled as it is, we can start bringing in people of this ilk quite often, I hope. Yes. Good dodge in there, E Erasmus. Now, we could knock it back, but I think we just do another rake. Now, one of these... Ah, it gives us a buff, not them a debuff. So, the more we use rake, the more we get to do damage with it, which I think is really good indeed. How does that not... Just, it's going to die. Who cares? We'll pick to the face of this, try and lay down some DPS on it. The alternative was to maybe shadow fade against it, but honestly, I'm not that concerned by that. Less damage. I mean, this is the only one that's doing any damage, really, in the first place, so maybe we just start attacking the back. There's not much I can do to this unit. Uh, and having the opportunity to hit those two before that one died and move them out of position. Probably worthwhile. Uh, nothing here is beast. We should maybe have taken an Eldritch Ring, but I'm not too bothered about that. Stress Heal could be useful. I think it does everybody. It does. So, we may come to rely on that. We may not. I think in higher level dungeons, especially a darkest level dungeon, trying to keep on top of all the st statistics that can go wrong and while also doing damage to the enemies is probably the major challenge. I mean, in the last one, we were trying our best to keep on top of just health and we still had to run away. Having to keep on top of, um, you know, stress all the time as well, plus all these debuffs that we keep getting, probably going to start going wrong. I think we'll start healing people. 21. Yeah, maybe we could have waited. Oh, you got a bleed. That's very unlikely. You'll be okay. Ah, yes, that'll be why. So after the camp, we should be fine. You're on two damage per round. You haven't got... Oh, interesting. You've got one HP and you managed to survive some bleeds. You're going to not die. I guess we start with this one. And then we can rake the... Ah, uh, no, we can't. Maybe we harry... A decisive pummeling. Apparently it can do some damage, but refuse to. But now we've got four damage on this and four damage on this. So we're going to bring this much closer to death as a result of doing that. And honestly, having Viz in beast mode here has not really stressed anybody out as much as I was expecting it to. Now, if you transform back, you do heal yourself and you give everyone a bit of stress back. But I guess I don't care. So you transform back anyway, just like this. Like, you're forced to do it. Uh, okay. Three damage, two damage, two damage. I don't know why you've got a special one, but you're taking four damage and you're taking four damage. I might as well use this, is what I'm thinking. And then we can keep this. That seems like a good idea. That's a quest item. So we're going to use this on it. And we've got another one coming up really quickly as well, which is great. Because if we can get them quickly, we've basically got free reign of the rest of the dungeon to camp as much as we like. Well, once. Whenever we like, I guess, is the point there. Oh, you don't know. I hate you. I mean, luckily, we were going to get rid of yours anyway, right? Or were we? It was you or him. Yeah, it was, it was you anyway, so I think we can actually maybe cure two if we're lucky. Uh, let's get back in order. I was hoping to um, get food out of it. I hope that's fairly the obvious. Here's our second safety. quest location. Don't miss this one by going, ooh, that looks scary, and ignoring it, as has happened in the past. <laughs> let's not talk about it. 
Yeah, being able to get the quest done quickly will be great because it means that we can start just whenever we're ready, we can go. We can try and collect as much stuff as we possibly can. Absolutely nothing in this direction and hopefully we get scamped. Hunger, eat. Don't mind. It's going to be uh, a bit touch and go if we can heal everybody as much as I'd like to in the next combat. Ah, we do get a scam. Excellent. Still no things. Interesting indeed. Oh, Imdism, for goodness sake. <laughs> Is Yes. I don't think that was going to go wrong. That's our first gold, actually. Of the, of the quest. Fairly uncommon to get this far without finding any gold. Maybe we could have gone to those and got something, but who knows. Hmm. Still nothing here. It's a good cup of tea that I've made myself. Stashed heirlooms. I do appreciate getting some portraits every now and then. Aha! Something I was not expecting. Because I was not... Hadn't scouted. Uh, probably go for the, the doggy here. Probably actually a very good idea because that can do some bad stuff to us if we're not careful. Try and stun one. It does do some damage. Six damage is good. And then we have the opportunity to kill this one before anything horrible goes on. 17, 14. You get some HP. Another 21 is actually really good. Uh, you can just attack this. I mean, if we can kill it before its stun comes off, that's great. We didn't. Um, but, I mean, it effectively means that we didn't need to stun it, but also that was the main attack that I was going to use this for anyway, because it's that or transform. Which I could still do. Three points around for three rounds. I mean, that's kind of useful if there's two in the middle, but there aren't, so I think we just manacles it again and actually get rid of it. I don't feel it's wasted because obviously we did get a kill. Well, that was a 7. <laughs> 21, 7. It's fine. Uh, and then maybe a pick to the face is going to be good here. It's going to do the majority of the damage. Oh, it's done all of the damage. Okay, good. And uh, plenty of plenty of money. Why don't you eat this? And then we can have this cash here. I mean, we are here to try and recuperate the money we spent on... You know, coming out in the first place. And some of that money will be recuperated by not recovering this unit as long as this unit needs it. And if it doesn't need it, then we just take them out until they are, you know, expendable. I should um, reorder my party before we get into another fight. Which is now. Which is now. Oh, hunger. Same thing. Now, unfortunately, we uh, got a disease instead of more food. Which is a bit of a shame, but there you go. Can we please have the quest location? Curio, Curio. Ooh, a secret door. Did we bring a key? No, but there is a chance we find one. That's happened to us before. So we can walk back and get that if we do find a key. And I will prioritise a key. No. Okay, good. And that's why we brought this. Don't forget the herbs can also remove debuffs from us, which is great. Uh, four. It's one. It's one hunger proc. And it's a few HP, but it's not the greatest thing we expect. What is happening here? There's just a tiny little money and tiny little amount of money in that, and a tiny little amount of food in that. I feel a little bit ripped off. I spent quite a lot of money on these medicinal herbs, so I think we camp now because uh, Imdism here now has, you know, two <laughs> two thingies instead of the one that we arrived with. So we'll use this just to get the opportunity to. In tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. I don't think we need the stress relief, but we might need the HP in future. Or just two hungers. There's plenty of dungeon left. So, having this opportunity. Yeah, got rid of both. Amazing. I mean, that is ridiculously powerful, considering how much that would cost in, uh, you know, back in the Hamlet, just to do exactly that is ridiculous. Four speed, not really useful. More damage, but way more stress. Preventing ambush is a good idea if we can manage it. We do have the dog to do this. Uh, we don't. Okie dokie then. Gallows humor could be good. Now nah, we don't need the stress relief, I think.
Remove mortality. We don't have any of those. Increase stress by seven to prevent. I think we do this. Not needing the stress relief is fine, but I don't want to fight in the dark. And now we can maybe just sort of undo all that with Gallows Humor or something. So that time cost four. Yeah, we'll do that. That went well. I'm not quite sure why that was so much higher. Oh well. Um, everything seemed to be 10%. Well, uh, it was considerably higher than it said it was going to be. Uh, but not by a consistent percentage. Well, yeah, not by a consistent percentage, which is odd. Um, I mean, stress is not a problem right now. But neither is anything else. <laughs> Reduce your own stress. You haven't got any. No one's got any wounds. We might as well just pep talk Imsen then. Try and get some stress down. Yeah, that works. Now we're all on very low stress. Having one time left is... We're not going to get anything back for it. The way is lit. But we didn't the need it. Is clear. So we've got two battles ahead of us, which is why I went for it then. Rather than wait until the next room, because having two diseases on the Houndmaster, or having removed two diseases from the Houndmaster, gives us a much greater chance of actually getting through these fights, you know, well. It's a good time to use Beast Bile, I think, because we do actually have two units that could suffer from it, although only one of them actually took suffering, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, you have high dodge, so let's try and undo this. And we crit for a whole one, which is brilliant. And you get a benefit against that unit now. So I think that's doubly good. Oh, that's bad. Uh, because you not only are more likely to hit as a result of the debuff, but also you're more likely to do a lot of damage Continue as a result the of the mark. So there we go, that's very good. Mustn't forget that that attack does actually elicit bleeding on them, so if you don't quite kill it, it could still die as a result of it, which is really nice. Um, this might be worth doing, actually. We took a lot of stress from that one unit, but that one unit has gone. Hmm. Some dodge, some dodge. Less damage. We don't need to heal anybody, so I think we just start laying on curses at this stage. Having that debuff on there could, could be really good for us. And if we can stun it too, how much? Three rounds. Might be worth doing. Yeah, I mean, anything that's not taking a turn is kind of worth doing it. It's like killing it temporarily. So it's sort of, it's the same mechanics as having killed it, except you haven't really killed it. So we'll just keep doing damage to this if we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three and two, so... A couple of rounds left for that Joker. If we hit it now... With this. Let's rake them. I'll do damage to both. Hopefully, uh, it'll definitely kill it, which is really annoying, actually. We didn't crit it, though, which is enough to uh, get rid of it. And, of course, we killed the other one completely by accident, but there we go. Uh, yeah, some good stuff. I appreciate that. You have a debuff, but not for long. We'll put everyone back in position and continue. No touchy. Now, I think we can do this again. No? Okay. Very well. Okay, well, we don't need that, but we can sell it, which will certainly make up some of the money we've spent. I don't think we need two of those, because I can't even use one of them effectively. I always put the Houndmaster at the back, and I don't know why. Obviously, they can do stuff from the front. But I don't know whether it's a good idea to do stuff from the front. Uh, can we talk about why you can't do anything? Because you're not supposed to go first. Yeah, you can only go first if we transform you. I'm kind of glad I didn't even didn't give you even more speed than you already have, quite honestly. Um... This is just really high damage, right? Well, not that high. And then Rake will elicit a buff. We've got 17% extra damage, so we should probably just keep doing this. Because as we stack that up, they'll take more and more damage. And we can use the Occultist here to reduce some of their protection, which is going to be an extremely good idea. Now let's lunge at this and hope to kill it. Perfect. The high crit character here is just such a good idea. 
it's obviously the trade-off is that this character keeps moving around, so you have to be able to take a party that will that can cope with the fact that this character keeps moving around. But, uh, this is a problem. That's going to cost us. Uh, we will lose. Oh, it's dodge or king. Do you have the thing with the thing? This one. This is what I want. Okay. And we'll de-dodge this one. If possible. And hope to hit it. Oh, we should uh, crank on a torch as well. Taking more stress is a bad idea at this stage, I think. Is this a good idea? No, this is a good idea. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking we could put bleed on everything and whittle them down slowly. And then I realised we had a mark. And the mark gives us a great opportunity to... Oh, good dodge. Just kill that thing outright. That's what happened, especially since we got a crit. And uh, I do like having a crit. Now, we can probably stun one of these with this unit. We don't have any anti-venom, but we can heal it. And um, we've lost hemophilia because that was why we came on this mission in the first place. So I think we just shadow phase and try and at least stop one of them having a go. Halves the damage output on this round. I was going to say the next round. And we weirdly reconstruct you for six, but the bleed should be resisted because we don't have hemophilia anymore. Which is exactly what happened. We'll probably want to heal this character again in the future. But at this stage, I think we're perfectly happy. I mean, it's another four damage, so it's only going to take us down to 17 there, so... We don't need to do much of this, really. Stress heal plus four is terrible. I mean, I expect that um, that skill there could become really useful if you level it up with the unit, but we're not <laughs> at the moment. This is not really helping. Plus 60% damage, and it's still hardly doing any. Uh, maybe less damage from one of these things? Less dodge. What have you got in dodge? Some. It's not really affecting us, although Famous Last Words is going to dodge something in a minute, so we'll just... Uh, didn't even get the debuff, so I was going to say we just removed some of its ability to hurt us, but it's not really what happened. 3 to 7. 3 to 7. So we can basically throw this at either of them. <coughs> and a crit. A crit's really good. So that one's gone. And then, not your go? Not your go. Die? Stack up a bleed so you die. No. Okay, this one's actually being a little bit obstinate, but I doubt it'll last too long. This gets to rake. If we transform now... We can't do anything, of course. I was actually going to do this, but I realised we don't need to heal. Um, but I wanted to get rid of some of the stress, which is... It's fine, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, do this again. It's not really helping, but if this gets another go, it's basically dead. It doesn't. But that was exactly the right amount of damage, so we're still having a bit of trouble with that last unit there. As victories mount, so hmm. too will resistance. Hmm. I want both of these. We haven't got long left to go. So I'm hoping soon to find the quest item and leave, which means I'm happy-ish to get rid of this. And these. Because we haven't suffered too much from either bleeding or hunger. So far. <laughs> oh, well. Nature have shovels. Um, victim to the spreading corruption. Uh, goodness me. Intent. So I'm not feeling too worried about getting rid of the, uh, the bandages there. Nor our ability to get more food. So that's us done. I think we'll continue because we've got a inventory slot left, and hopefully we can find a key. If we find a hello, if we find a key, we can chuck away plenty of stuff in order to. We'll just stress heal. I'm happy to. I forgot to move Erasmus back, which is my mistake. I understand this. Uh, stun one. Is it better to just throw a dagger at these? Maybe. I think so. Executed yeah. With um. If we can find a key, which would be very serendipitous, but nevertheless, I'm going to gun for it. Then... We, we've got plenty of things we can throw away in order to pick up the three things we'll get out of that secret room. And I think that's worth doing. Seven to ten and you hit seven. Although... <laughs> and a dodge, so that's also fine. And this one will die before it gets to go. Another dodge. This unit is not making me happy to get rid of it. 
It's been too good. Ah, that's why we needed to do that. So let's transform, because we can't do anything if we don't. And then we'll rake again. Wow, people get really stressed by that. But you just killed both at once, so everyone should be super happy. But they're not. So there you go. We can probably take this occultist out for one more mission. Before it becomes completely stressed out. That seems fine too. Maybe we should try and open this without a key. Hey, you know that bit where you're going to move Erasmus back? You forgot. That's alright. Stunning one of these is not actually something I'm particularly upset with. Yeah, well then. We'll do this. Unfortunately, it means that the occultist doesn't get to do what the occultist bests at. Occultists best at. Let's try this. But well, that's fine for now. We've got a debuff. Great. Less damage on... Uh, dodge is pretty high on these ones, but... Actually, that might make it worth doing. Especially if we can... Combine this with a lunge, which is then much more likely to hit. And then, as a result, much more likely to kill this unit, which has now had extra damage done to it. Because of the fact that... We got extra damage for the mark. So that was uh, pretty good. I'd like to get rid of these because they're a pest. But also having fewer things on the screen is just generally good for you. So that's a confusion thing. I was stunned. No, just just uh, just Blight, which we resisted, which is fine. So this is going first again. We'll rake now. Start stacking up this damage uh, buff. We can incur, I think, Yeah, we can incur some on these. Because they're doing damage and I don't want them to. So now you get to lunge at the one that's moved to the back because it's a dick. That's fine. Try and kill this then. Wasn't a crit, but it was like half of its health. Half its health in one go is not to be sniffed at. Of course, you can kill this one, so I can't feel too badly about it. Thanks for the mark. The Mark Lamar. Reign of Blight. That doesn't sound fun. Oh, you got a fucking disease again, didn't you? How are you this bad? I hate you. Well, hopefully you level up into the ranks of the other grave robber. Let's pick to the face something. I quite like doing it. Lol. Ten damage is exactly the amount we needed, and it was kind of what I was hoping for, but I didn't like to say. Let's um, let's actually heal somebody. Two. Thanks. Glad you're here. Not quite sure how two is, you know, 40% extra. But there you go. I mean, we could heal ourselves right now. We could just keep doing damage. Not very much damage. This unit is probably best at this point left to be allowed to um, fix itself. Should have marked one of these, I think, but we needed the health and it didn't really help. Well, you're marked, are you? That's the problem. Oh, dear. I mean, you couldn't have just healed him for a certain amount. Is that too difficult to miss ask? Well, this is probably going to go first now. Before these, I mean. It's between Viz and Erasmus, usually. So we'll transform back. And we'll heal ourselves, which is very useful. Everyone gets a bit of normal heal. And we'll heal ourselves a bit more. Don't forget, um... Transforming back does heal you, which is good. And then we'll heal you even further for zero. Yep. That's why you're leaving. <laughs> anti venom, smanti venom. Bleed? Bleed. Right, so that should be dead, yeah. That's fine. So only one enemy is attacks to tank. And hopefully, this is actually the last combat. I'm not a fan of that. Right. Can this. Occultist, please start doing its job. Is that too much to ask? I'm going to leave Erasmus here at the front. And the reason is that it means Viz can do things over here. Which is mostly stunned, to be fair. But it does do damage as well, and I don't dislike something that does damage, even if it's doing other stuff. That doesn't work. Is what I'm thinking there. Uh, you can heal yourself, so I'm going to give it to you. 12 is a great number, actually. Quite a lot of the HP of that particular unit. Groping swipe is a miss. Yes. I believe that's a very low likelihood of hitting. 
You crit your own heal, which is brilliant, and it actually did double heal. Um, I think we do one more heal on this unit. 13, even better. And then that gives us a good chance of finishing this off in good health. Yes, thank you. It did sting, but not us. Take! Success so clearly in view. Scout. Or is it mm. merely a trick of the light? Well, you can have this. I don't think these are worth as much as having this, even though this is a common trinket. The fact that we've picked it up uh, basically means we can sell it for a lot more than the crests, which are very common, would be able to do for us in any other situation. Let's, um, let's do this. You're going to open this. It's a trap. <laughs> I mean, if it's got a trap in it, you still think that you could get the stuff out, right? Oh, hello. Well, hopefully, this does not go first. I need a thing that slows Viz down if we're going to bring Erasmus. So we'll have to think about this in future. Yes! More crits from this... Fucking amazing fucking character. I love it. Bring it a hell on. Right, you bastards have got dodge. Not much. I'm going to give you some cursing of debuff weakening. Because that'll hurt us. Four. Pansy. Come on, then. I'll bite your legs off. Oh, good dodge. Uh, I don't care about you having that particular problem. Although we possibly could have gotten away with a mark at this point, because then... We do more damage. Seven. Your blocking is clearly not helping, so I don't know why you're doing it. Um, a stun on the one that is already damaged. Does more damage to it. Prevents it from taking a turn. Which means we probably want to put a vulnerability hex on this one. <clears throat> on this one, because we think that uh, Erasmus can probably finish this off with a pick to the face. Which is true. So then that allows us to use the extra damage dealing from, from Imzum at the back there to get the shit out of this one. Stop complaining. We've not far left. 11 is a fairly good roll, I guess. Right. Manacles, again. Really the only thing that this unit can do. And the stun is fine. And if we can get a heal off, that would be great too. Uh, we might be able to. Let's have a look at your um, two damage and three. So, eeny meeny miny munchkin, you. 16. Again, with the overheals, but that's what happens when you bring in a cultist, I guess. And then you get to kill it. Good job. Well done. 1,000 gold and a torch. That's actually really good. I'm glad I kept that stack of, uh, stack of torches there. And I, I'm looking for a key, in case you're wondering. That's why I'm still going. Also, just more stuff. We can always sell all these torches back. We don't get very much for them, but it is something. Uh, back in order, please. Before it all goes wrong. So yeah, we need to take... There is um, a trinket or two that will debuff your speed in favour of something else. I think um, damage, perhaps, or accuracy, or possibly one of each. Which is definitely something we want to give to Viz, because him going before, Marty, uh, before Erasmus there is actually sometimes a major pest. So at any point we can just leave if we choose to. Oh, you... No, no, no. No, no, no. I hate you. We resisted something. Okay, good. Yeah, if you're going to fucking open everything, you can open everything. Yeah, that's right. Please be a key in this room. Da 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 da. Ooh. Well, there's a chest, so there could be a key in it. That's a surprise, so let's do as much damage to these as possible. In this case. For once, I'm not going to go after the things that do the damage, the stress damage. I'm going to go after the things that do the fucking irritating attacks of hell. So there's one down. I think this one can uh, duplicate itself. So I'm probably going to want to manacles this to try and stop it from having a go. Because with this corpse here, I think that's a problem in both situations. Now, you have got some dodge. But I think if we mark it, that's going to be our best bet. Because it basically guarantees that the Houndmaster can hit it for a lot of damage and kill it. Perfect. I mean, that was way overkill, but they're gone. So now we deal with one round of this shit, which we've already dodged one off, so this has actually turned out much better than it normally does. 
One stressful incantation on. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Stress damage would do. But, and then one more. Oh, 21. These do a lot more than they used to. Of course, they've taken the light level down so much that we've actually got more stress damage as a result. You dodged it, which is not on my list of favorite things that can happen. Uh, this is a problem, because I want to get rid of those. Well, just do your damage. Uh, don't flip out. <laughs> oh, thank you for dodging that. I appreciate it. I honestly genuinely do. Uh, can you kill this? It's provided you hit. Their dodge is probably one of the most annoying uh, dodge abilities in the game. Because it's so high. You didn't resist that debuff. Even though you have a 60% debuff resist, I've yet to actually fail to uh, achieve that. That particular debuff. We'll absolve ourselves, because why the hell not? It gives us something to do other than pass. We can't actually hit anything except for the uh, corpses, so I guess we should. At least it brings it into range, right? Gives us something to do. One more stressful incantation. Dodged, which is perfect. Bessel Artillery could hit it, but I guess we just... You know... Reward the valiance of our Houndmaster and actually give him some HP for once. Some bleed is fine. But now we can pick to the face and hopefully kill it. Yeah. And as a reward for the Houndmaster doing so well, triumphant pride precipitates a dizzy. I will fall. make Erasmus open this. Hooray! Key. Ah. Well, it's something. We don't need this, so we might as well take him. Well, that's a shame. We didn't find a key, so we didn't get to go to the secret room. And honestly, I'd forgotten about secret rooms, which is why I didn't take a key. Because the chests were not that important to me. It's interesting. More dodge and less damage. Plenty of gold here, though. Plenty of crests. All these heirlooms. Let's not even watch that. Petty Pace has got a... Oh, that's pretty good. Stop being better, because I don't want you to... Level 3 now. <laughs> so, everyone's leveled up. Except Viz? I think Viz was already level 3. That's why he's... Here, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, everyone's leveled up a little bit. That's pretty good. Now, there's no need to get rid of Payis at the moment. Ooh. A wholesome plant life has been spotted in the surrounding wood. A rarity in these parts. Party gains 33% resolve XP in wield and 15% damage in wield. That's pretty good. No longer abusive. That's great. So we can take Sir Jairus out, which is excellent because it means we can get even more money. That has literally given us 12,000. We had about 100 left when we embarked on that. And we did the entire dungeon, got as much as possible, and ended up with 12,000. And two trinkets that we don't actually want. So I'm going to sort by rarity here. Now I'm going to sort by character class restriction, because there were two of these Houndmaster cudgels. Yes. And there were two... Oh, I don't think we need two of these. Keep two of those. I like the, the Slayer's rings. We've got another one of these as well. Um, because... More than one unit in a party can benefit from those in the same place because you take it based on the likelihood of fighting things in a place. So having multiples of these is great. But multiples of character-specific things, except for the Hellions, where we've had such a fun time beating the shit out of stuff with two Hellions. It's not been that uh, that great to date. So now maybe we start putting people in to chill them out. Lots of people are still afflicted from previous missions. Paeus is probably going to be dismissed at the end of the next mission. I'm not going to put them in for any, you know magical healing or anything. So let's see what the cheapest thing we can do is to Raikou. That's pretty cheap. There you go. Let's see what the cheapest thing is we can do to Martin. 1700. Not too bad. Also 1700. Possibly likely to get very drunk. Hope so. That's what you expect of an Irishman. Um, some of these people are at the edge of... Like, because... Fairly important people are afflicted. Oh, what does Zeke do? Expensive stuff, no doubt. Brothel of all things. Probably going to give something away from being overcome with desire for some harlot. Uh, never mind. Let's see what our stagecoach has. We may want to replace... Oh, nothing particularly that I give a shit about. I was going to say we may want to replace our throwaway character, but at this stage I don't really care to because I'm not going to spend any money on them, which is... Excellent indeed. Let's sort by level and see what we've got. So, Sir Jairus here is not the sort of unit you maybe want to level up to too much. Not not to cast any shade on them. It's just that the specific skills that they have is not that hugely useful. But, I mean, we definitely want to think about 
I should probably put Imzo in for some treatment as well. Oh, you're one of those, are you? you? Might not be able to. We can. I'll spend the money. I mean, these people have gotten us a great deal of money just from that one mission. And we'll see what's in the wheels for the next episode, because of course in the next episode we'll get extra stuff. There is this brigand 12 pounder, which is not something I'm too happy to deal with at this stage, because oh, I guess we could take Dutch. If we took Dutch and Marty, that'd be really good, wouldn't it? Because just before we get to the boss, we can get rid of this. Yeah? Well, at some point before the boss. And the wield often has a really good um, layout for getting to the boss. And I say it sometimes does. I mean, that previous mission that we just did was very ruins-like, but even still. Um, and we could indeed even take this occultist. But honestly, I'd rather take not Viz and not... Um, not the occultist, but our new Viva Phonics with their amazing healing skills, which are already at level 3, which is probably slightly better than any of our, you know, any of the units that we started off with would probably still have a smattering of level 2s here, so. Why have you got that as well? Did you actually arrive with 5 optional skills? That's really good. We should also check, before we end this episode, and I'm going to have a look at this while I remember, rather than because it's relevant to this episode, we should check these. You've got heals. Everyone has plus two speed, which could be pretty good. That's a buff which will definitely assist us for the, uh, for the boss, provided we do it just before the boss. We don't want to waste it on non-boss combats, basically. Um, and that's pretty good as well. I'm happy with those. What have you got? More extra, more dodges. Buff. Uh, a pretty good buff against stress. I think we want that. Yeah, we probably want to use that just before the boss so that we don't end up taking a lot of damage from an awkwardly difficult fight just before him. So that's a good selection. Um, Erasmus. I think I've got everything that I want from you as well. Scouting chance is okay. That's pretty funny, but it's, it's a time cost of one. And occasionally we do have one time left. I'm wondering if we should take that on principle. That we may need it at some point. I will unlock that, because you get five. You get to take five in with you, so we should turn it on. We've only got four there as well, so... Maybe we only get to take four? Anyway, we can take it. Uh, and what I'm thinking is maybe we take someone like... I don't know, it's a level 3 mission and we don't have much options down here. We don't want to take Sir Jairus on this mission, obviously, because that would be suicide. <laughs> um, and taking Doug the second here is probably going to be fine, because obviously we're going to give Erasmus the trinket back so that Doug the second will always be in the third position whenever we're actually fighting. So who do we take? It basically has to be vague. Oh my goodness. I've backed myself into somewhat of a corner here. Unless we get rid of Paeus and take a Crusader or something. This is not the greatest of ideas against a level 3 boss. In fact, taking this... Oh, it's a level 3 boss, so we can take any of these people as well. Ah. So we could take Brian. Who's not that good against the... Um, it could be... A, ah, that being said. Depends where the cannon is. Could do some considerable damage to the cannon. As long as the cannon's in the right position. And we've got Marty. We've got Erasmus dancing around. Who can definitely hit the cannon from most positions. Although the cannon is pure DPS. We can't do any debuffs. We can't blight it or anything like that. We could take Psycho. Who's basically Brian. I mean, they can't hit the third position. Which is the problem. We could also take Holmesy instead of... Um, the second here. But Holmes is quite stressed out already, so that may not be a good idea. Oh, it's a difficult decision, I'll be honest. Who else is in level 4? Brian, DT. Maybe a high-level bounty hunter? That could be a good idea. Doesn't have any diseases. I was thinking about taking a bounty hunter, but that one had diseases. Vague has diseases, whereas DT here does not. High speed, that's pretty good. As long as we can hit the third position with most of the things we care about, Yeah, and then we check out Dutch to make sure Dutch has got the sniper shot, which is exactly what we want. So we can mark and snipe. 
And you have a mark as well, and some damage versus marked. So as long as we can get rid of the um, the Fusilier, and I wonder if we can simply move it. I will look at that between this next episode and next episode, but I've been going on for a little bit long right now, waffling on a little bit, trying to do tactics. No one wants to hear that shit. I'll think about it between episodes, and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, thank you for watching this one.